There has been a staggering number of drownings on our waterways this summer, and now people who live on one lake in York Region have a new plan to step in and try to prevent that number from getting even worse. Mike Walker spent today on Musselman's Lake to see how residents are trying to make a difference. As Rick Wigmore takes his boat out on Musselman's Lake today, he's keeping a close watch on everyone else out on the water. For swimmers that might be in difficulty or too far from shore, we're also looking for people preferably having their life jackets on. That's because last month, two teenage girls drowned on this private lake after they set out on a dinghy. Neither were wearing a life jacket. It's because of that drowning, the Residents Association here is launching a lake watch program. That will see shoreline owners with boats become first responders. We wanted to make sure it didn't happen again, and we wanted to be more proactive in preventing drownings on this lake. We're, we're 300 feet away. Kyle Jenkins so tried to rescue the teens. He says the Lake Watch program will help and has volunteered to become a first responder. I think from the experience three weeks ago, I realized that uh, one of the most important things when you see something happening is to get more help down there quickly. And that would be, that would involve the people who live around the lake. The association hopes to have 10 people like Jenkins trained to be able to respond to emergencies. Each will take extensive CPR and water rescue training. The reality is, is that as soon as 911 is called, those professionals who respond are, you know, eight to nine, ten minutes away. And that, that's too long. Um, if, if you witness something on the water, we need to get the community involved in helping out um, and helping each other. The Lake Watch program will go beyond rescuing. It asks all residents to watch what's happening on the lake and talk to people about water safety. The program is reassuring for John Godin, who often visits the lake with his family. We've been visited by a few uh, uh, neighbors around here who has questioned what we do and where we are from and so on, and making sure we're safe. So that's a very good thing. Now the plan is to have the first responders determined by the fall and trained throughout the winter and ready by the first week of June to respond to any emergency out on the lake. In Stouffville, Mike Walker, A News.